gonna demonstrate how to store the data in 2D or one dimensional array uh, of variable. So if you have the create process dispose and I have process name as Kareem so, and the processing the replication length of 8 hours Okay, so I'm gonna store the variable. Uh, I'm gonna ca so this is my my data. We have of two rows, three columns. Okay, so um, and so my I'm gonna show it to you in a second. So build expression. If you can't remember that variable current value. So, so the value of one one. I'm gonna do it as a little matrix. This one will be first row, second column, and this one will be first row, third column, and this one will be and second row, third column. Okay, because we have two rows and three columns. Deal. So this is my create. I'm gonna put a sign here to assign the value to it. So assign value to the variable and add. If it is 1D, you just click on this. If it's 2D, you click on this one, variable 2D. So my data, we need like to put the value in the first row, first column. So uh, build expression, Q, average wait time. Okay, if we have another one, variable, my data, first row, the second column, or second row, third column build expression Q current average number in Q okay so let's run it to see what we'll get and so you have 2.7 this way we display it I'm gonna close the report we display the data in the boxes 2.7 and 3.9 okay uh, so this is the easiest way to control like where to store the data as you can see here right. Thank you